Hello friends, this is Seth with the Cygnus LPs and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Uh, how are you guys doing today? It's been a long day for me and you know what? I have the feeling it's gonna get longer because I just skipped around there. That's not why. This level! Uh, crates fi- crate balls of fire. Yes, the great balls of fire. I still have nightmares about this upcoming time trial. So, yeah, let's just- let, let's just do it. Let's see what we can do. Is it just me or does the space chamber have no level start cutscenes? I don't know. They just they just ran out of elemental masks, right? Because we did such a great job of imprisoning them inside our crystals of crystallicism. Okay, that was a bit too many isms for uh, comfort, but let's just continue on here. Yeah, this is a, this is a cool level. You'll see. There are multiple reasons why this is a cool level, but of course the time trial is utter hell. At least from what I remember. I, I might be just being a dumb baby right now, and I really, it's really nothing to be fear. But, you know, it's flashbacks from my past come and haunt me whenever I think giant balls of fire. Ew, no, not, not, not that kind of disgusting flashback. You silly person. No, I'm kidding. Anyways, so these things, they're dumb platforms, and they're annoying, and you have to wait for them to be correctly in place in order to use them to jump from place to place because you are an awesome place to place jumper. That's what's going on here, right? Anyways, checkpoint here and... Pfft, why not? Here we go. Question mark. Question mark, of course, means bonus stage. I'm gonna bounce on you, bounce on you. I'm not gonna touch those nitros, even though that explosive rat in there is totally going, wee wee wee, I wish I could kill a bandicoot. Isn't a bandicoot kind of a rat? I, I looked it up, and Crash is, first of all, he's, he's on two feet, but I, I don't think there was any denial as to the fact that the fact that Crash is on two feet is probably something a little made up. But no, what I mean is I went on, like, Wikipedia or something, and I searched up Bandicoot, and Bandicoots do not look at all like Crash. They look like little things, and oops, it seems... Okay, that worked out fine. Oh, I guess it's... Whoa, 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 don't fall down there. I'm guessing that's the box that'll activate that thing over there, so I'm gonna wanna explode that so it goes bop up and destroys it, and I can get this and I can get back down there by crouching, because that's the only way you can get down here with blowing up! We don't wanna blow up, do we? No siree Bob, because whether we have pants or not, I do not think our amazing little marsupium pants there are gonna save us from friggin' explosions, unless they're friggin' armored pants and the explosion was concentrated at our crotch for some reason. Man, I guess someone hates Bandicoot if they were aiming at his crotch, I don't know. So, let's just break these, getting boxes. I hope I didn't miss any boxes, I don't think I missed any boxes. If I did, it beats me as to where they were, because I'm pretty sure I was subconsciously paying attention, yes subconsciously paying attention. One may argue, if it was subconscious, then you weren't really paying attention, were you? Yes, but shh, no one has to know that. Anywho, just jump over that, uh, go over here. Yes, we are in a mech again. This, I haven't, whoa, I forgot about this. Yes, this is another fleeing level, and by that I mean escape level, or I forget what they're called. Once again, this kind of makes getting the boxes a cinch, because I'm pretty sure the uh, smoke of death is going to break the boxes too, even though it looks like something that would only hurt you because it suffocates you. But nope, apparently it suffocates the boxes too. Yes, this is why we have to destroy all the boxes. The boxes are secretly enemies, and they're actually sentient entities. Anywho, jump over here. We've got some. We got a lot of masks, so we're doing good. So yeah, as I was saying, this little um uh, mech here that shoots apples out is kind of useless at this point, because you know, because uh, the only real thing that's special about it is the fact that it shoots apples, right? Except I didn't really show it off yet for some reason, but you actually can shoot apples after destroying the uh, wind temple, wind temple, wind chamber boss, because it gives you that bazooka that shoots apples that I just have not shown you guys yet because I'm too lazy to use it. More like it's really kind of a useless item, at least I find so, I don't know. If any of you can uh, comment on what would be a proper use of that item, because I think there's one time in the game where the, having it actually benefits you and it's actually more of a glitch slash thing that's not supposed to be a thing and okay. My aimer just disappears when I go towards the wall. Crash Bandicoot just loves that wall. Don't kill me! Ah, uh, I don't love those exploding things, that's for sure. 
So anyways, you have more of those platforms here that are like that, and it's that's really annoying during the time trial mostly, because you just forget that those platforms that flip are there, so you just jump into the void, and you're like, hmm, I thought it was a good idea to jump in the void, but apparently it kills you. Yeah, I wonder what gives you that impression. Anyways, yeah, this is a kind of annoying jump, just for the sheer fact that, once again, for those of you who don't know, because I'm making it not abundantly clear, if you press A, just without moving before you jump, you're gonna take, like, a head start and do all this weird jumping crap, and whoa, that, did I miss a box? I missed a box. Silly box, trying to hide from me. I will aim at you from behind. Boom! Haha! -ha. You thought you could escape my ultimate wrath of bandicootism, but you couldn't, and we've completed the level! Man, that went pretty smooth, but I, 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 once again, it's the time trial that's really hellish, not the level. But you know what? Hopefully we'll be able to do this. I, I'm gonna go in on this with a positive outlook. Let's do this! Yeah! Crash, you've been a naughty boy. But now that's going to end. Naughty bandicoot with pants. How dare you wear pants? That's so naughty. Um, you're not supposed to explode those boxes, actually. And by explode, of course, I mean spin into. Because they would have turned into time boxes, and, well, it's three seconds shaved off. But, yeah, so apparently we're the naughty ones, and he's the one trying to, you know, world-dominate things. But I don't know. May maybe he's a visionary. Maybe, maybe he's not in the wrong. Maybe he wants to make the world better. Why do we keep thwarting his plans? I don't know. So, I'm off to a bad start already on this time trial, because like I said, you're not supposed to not break- You're not supposed to break those boxes at the beginning. Yeah. Well, that's an obvious horrible start, isn't it? You're stupid, Bandicoot. Off to a great start! I can't even get past the beginning of this dumb time trial. Wow, this, this is this is going great, guys. Real great. Anywho, so we're going to continue over here. It's going to be a fun time, and what's up with you, evil thing of evilness? Yeah, it's clearly an evil robot of ultimate mass destruction and death right there. Uh, okay, so I am not good at jumping, but I have made it to this next blunky bar. Oh, it's so nerve-wracking. Just I remember the horror that was this time trial, and it doesn't get any better than this, guys. It seriously doesn't. It's it's a hellish time trial of hellish proportions, but hey, I got that. It looks like you should be able to skill jump on the rim of those things when they're turned sideways, but you can't, or at least I'm pretty positive you can't, so don't try it. It's not going to end well for you. Anywho, we're in a mech now, and there goes our mask. Jeez, at least we get a new one right here. Yeah, this mech segment is really the worst part of the time trial, because there's so many ways you can just easily die for no reason whatsoever and then have to restart the whole thing. And what's worse is there's actually quite the time limit on this thing. As in, you have to go pretty quick to not get, you know, messed up by the time limit. Do I... No, no Uga Uga Ba Dum Bums! Why are there no Uga Uga Ba Dum Bums? Jeez. But yeah, as I was saying, you have to go pretty quickly if you want to get any type of relic in this, because there's not many chances to get a relic right there. Those are probably time boxes, so I was probably totally stupid to miss that. In fact, I'm almost positive they are, but whatever. We, we cannot dwell on spilled milk. The milk is spilled, and now we must move on to better things, like juice. Spilling juice is so much better than spilling milk, right? Anywho, let's just continue on here. Whoa, 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 I forgot you were not turning that way for some reason. And at one point, okay, I missed a three box. That's a great way to assure you're losing in this horrible, horrible time trial is to miss a three box, but whatever. Okay, so now this is locked out. Um, jeez. I'm trying to remember what's the annoying... Get out of my way. This is the annoying part. Okay, well, with sorry for being in your way, explosive thing. I kind of have this thing I have to do, which is not fail at this time trial. Oh, I'm doing so good. If I failed now, I'd be so miserable. I'd just, I'd just quit LPing forever, and I'm using that as incitive, because I really do not want to quit LPing forever, and therefore I must not fail at the end of this time trial. So let's not fail at the end of this time trial. Shall we crash? Yes, it would be very naughty of you to fail at this time trial. You would be very naughty, as Cortex stated. Come on! I think it's under two minutes, actually. Did I? Goal! Oh! Oh! I... 
Okay, so apparently I was a dumb baby and that was not as difficult as I thought it was. You friggin' stupid, dumb baby. Uh, it's kind of redundant to say stupid and dumb, but whatever! I won! You didn't! Oh, who, who is you? The, the fictional entity that I was racing did not win, and I did. Mwahahaha. Crash, the god of volcanoes and master of time. Yeah, because you know, I was racing the clock and I won. Sucks to be you, time. You're not as good as me. Anywho, so that's it for this episode. Um, uh... It's only been 12 minutes, jeez, I could actually do another one, but... Now, now, now I'm conflicted. Does Crash want to do another one? Depends on what he does next. Because I know if you leave him idle, he'll do something. Something amazing. Nah, see, he's tired, whatever. We'll, we'll give Crash a rest. In the next episode, though, we will take on the final level before the boss, which is a fitting level, actually. It's, uh... Crash Wiki, or Bandipedia, defines it as the generator, so that's a pretty great thing. We're apparently ungenerating the mask's power, muhahaha, we're gonna steal their blast power crystal. Anywho, so I'll see you guys then, shall we? Yes, we shall.